what is going on everybody today we're going over micron technology ticker symbol mu uh, this is a semiconductor very very hot sector uh, this is a very aggressive player as well but you will, you will be surprised people don't talk about mu everyone talking about nvidia amd and of course intel but micron has been here uh, i don't know like 50 years let's uh, scroll down and see exactly what's going on they've been around pretty pretty long from 1978 right here headquartered in boise idaho uh us base which is always a good thing 78 price today we're gonna find a couple of things we're gonna go over the financials and find the fair value according to mr warren buffett using the excel uh, fair value that was written by benjamin Graham uh, in the book the intelligent investor we're gonna find the fair value that micron technology uh, should be traded as well as the price that mr warren buffett would be a buyer if everything in the financial statement uh, will actually be up to his uh, standard without further ado let's get started with micron technology i'm in this excel how to value a stock like mr warren buffett this is what we got company name mu micron technology i need to find eps earning per share uh, pe is a constant 8.5 growth i will also need to find that i'll show you where exactly uh, two times the growth is two another constant corporate bond 4.4 another constant all of these are from the book the intelligent investment and we need to find a triple a bond yield we got the stock price of today about 78 bucks and once we got all those we will get all those numbers we will find two things the stock fair value and the price that we will be a buyer according to what mr warren buffett if everything checks out in the financial statement which we are going to go over in a second if you guys want to grab a copy of this excel uh, you can find it in the description below uh, just uh, 10 bucks one time purchase pretty awesome it, it only works if you have a positive eps positive earning per share and a positive uh, growth which i will show you right now where you can find those two and the triple a bond deal you just google it and there you go you can find the fair value of any stock uh let's get started yeah let's find epa kenyao finance this is what i'm looking for first of all just a little glance a uh, 52 week range uh, between uh 30 bucks to 87 so it's like 10 percent below all-time high uh we got over value according to Yao finance but i don't care about that i care about warren buffett finance earning per share this is the number that i'm looking for 2.65 Okay, this is the number that I will put in the Excel. Earning per share in the last 12 months, trailing 12 months, 265. No dividend. Last time they give dividend was like 25 years ago. One year target, I assume it's for uh, 20, 21 already. Uh, 96 bucks, which is, I don't know, 25% uh, to the upside from here. We got a PE ratio of less than 30, which is pretty awesome for compared to Tesla is over a thousand and uh, all the others amd is like uh, i don't know 500 zoom 400 nvidia uh free 400 something like that pretty good uh compare with everything it's a big company 87 billion market cap no one talks about micron everyone talking about amd and nvidia i want to talk about micron i, I want to find the stocks that no one talks about that have a uh, potential already jumped from 30 to 87 Let's see if it's uh, it's worth uh, 96 or more or less than 78. We'll see in a second. But the most important part for the Excel is this number EPS 265. Let's find the other number that I'm looking for. The growth number. I'm going here. The analysis tab. Okay. And I'm scrolling all the way down. Okay. And I have this number. Uh, the next five year per annual. 18%. 18.38 percent so they're projecting to grow which is not it's just pretty good for an 80 billion dollar uh company they're gonna they still projecting growth of 18 percent a year which is pretty awesome you look at the analyst they have a price between 39 to 121 that's not bad currently at 78 but i need this number only 
uh, next five years 18.38 and the 265 that's what i'm gonna put in the excel i'm in the finance statement right here i'm gonna go over a couple of things it's not scary to go over financial numbers and you do need to know this uh in order to value a company do not just listen to random people uh all over social media uh basically do your own analysis because numbers don't lie people do let's get started i see first of all total revenue and that's not me that's how warren buffett basically analyzed stuff from everything that i've read about him i don't know him personally i want this number to grow total revenue and i see at a glance uh, that it's going down which is not a good thing went down from 30 billion to 23 billion to 21 billion year after year after year to 20 billion it's not good there's a lot of competition amd is just uh you know but something happened here between 2017 they went from 20 billion to 30 billion in 2018 and then came declining all the way to like four years ago level 20 billion dollars it's not a good sign let's keep going i want to see this one gross profit 5.8 billion also declined from 17 to 10 to 6 to 5 not a good sign let's take the calculator out still born buffett would like to see a ratio of a 40 percent gross uh unless it's a technology company which is in that case 80 percent gross so what we do we take five eight seven nine uh which is the gross profit and we divide it by the total revenue which is 22.49 and we got ourselves a 29 percent gross ideally mr buffett wants 40 percent gross we are at 30 percent it's not you know it's good but it's not like uh superb that's uh, what i have to say it's good 30 percent gross any company would love that uh buffett has like super higher uh standards and i'm looking here at the end diluted the uh, net income available that's the net income per share uh also down a lot from 14 billion to 6 to 2.6 to 2.2 they're going down that's not a good sign they're going down I don't know I, I assume because amd and uh, all the other competition they just can't compete and there's also uh, a tsm taiwan semiconductor there's also intel that uh, people tend to forget but they're still a uh, powerhouse but let's do the math the 2250 that's the net income divide again by the total revenue 2249 and buffett would like to see a 20 percent net profit okay so 40 percent gross uh 20 percent net let's click enter and we got ourselves 11 percent uh net i don't know what's the industry i haven't uh, really checked the others but i should 11 percent if you leave a comment uh which one would you like me to do amd nvidia intel i did intel like three four months ago when i just started this channel uh definitely need uh, an upgrade uh updated video as well 11% is not the 20% that Buffett is looking for and 30% is not the 40 uh, that he's looking for. Plus uh, revenue is uh, going down, which is not a good thing. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Let's go over the balance. Also in the balance sheet, at least it's growing. That's a good thing. The total assets is growing. Uh, so not, not all bad. That's a good sign. They went from 35 billion to 43. That's pretty awesome to 48 pretty awesome and then another 53 pretty awesome so they're growing by a rate of like i don't know five billion dollar a year pretty predicted the uh, predictable this is a mature company but they're still uh projecting to grow by 18 percent every year for the next five year it's a mix and match you know but uh i don't know i don't know i need to do uh an update on uh, amd and nvidia that's uh, basically what i need to do plus taiwan semiconductors Let's do the other ratio, the long-term debt. I'm going here, the long-term debt, 6.9. Uh, uh, Mr. Warren Buffett would like to see that the company can pay their long-term debt in four years or less. So I take this number, okay, uh, 6906. <laughs> okay, not saying anything, so I can get monetized. And I divide it, you go back to the income statement and you go back to the net income number, diluted net income. So you divide this number, the 6906 by 2250. And I would like to see a number of four and below. And we got a three, 306. 
so they have about three years to pay their long-term debt that's pretty awesome so everything looks checks out in the balance sheet i do not know why in the income statement the revenue fell and then of course everything fell as well uh a net income fell if the revenue fell down but the assets went up i assume they maybe made a giant purchase uh maybe they made a giant purchase right here between 2017 to 2018 they went from 20 billion to 30 billion and just purchased an assets of uh, other company maybe it didn't pan out so well in the last uh, two years because the revenue went down maybe they're still working on that i don't know i don't follow them i do know that if they can pay their long-term debt in three years uh that's a lot uh, that's uh, that's the time from it by mr buffett is looking for four years or less which is pretty awesome pretty awesome to the that's checked out uh they grow predictably uh every year by five billion dollar in asset it's not bad at all let's go over the cash so i'm in the cash flow column uh, let's see what we got operating cash flow money that comes from the business itself 8.2 billion compared to 8.3 compared to 13 so they're going down compared to 17 so they're going down the money that they're making from their operation from the business itself going down from 17 billion almost cut in half in two years not a good sign i don't know what happened uh, i think again just speculation because here it was 8 billion and then became 17 so something happened in 2017 2018 maybe maybe they purchased something that did not pan out as well as they thought it will be and now they're just uh, just losing money on that deal ever since trying to regroup see what else they got issue of debt they took on more debt uh, 6.7 billion but they repay 5.2 billion which is probably this one and just refinance and took another one and a half billion they did do a buyback which is a good thing repurchase of uh, capital stock 200 million compared to 250 it's the same but if you see two years ago it was 2.7 billion dollar capital uh purchase so two years ago they were still pretty awesome and this year they were not and yet they still jumped from 30 bucks to almost 90 bucks 200 percent return uh when all the numbers doesn't look good just shows you the 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 way of the marketing that was in 2020 free cash flow it's uh you know we have up went from 80 million to 300 million but look what happened here they went from 8.5 billion to 3.5 billion and now to like 80 million something happened during the last uh i don't know in the last uh, two three years before us like 2017 2018 something happened major purchase that didn't pan out just my assumption last piece of the puzzle is just to google uh, mu corporate bond i found this one micron technology 5.875 that's the number that i'm gonna enter if you look and you find a couple of numbers you see this one uh, 4.18 i'm going for the highest number the the higher the number the more conservative result you will have basically uh, I try to stay conservative and then that's basically what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna put this number in the formula 5875 let's I'm in the Excel guys I put in here the triple-a bond yield right here 5875 basically once I click enter I'm gonna find two things a uh, fair value of micron stock um, uh, MU as well as the price that Mr. Warren Buffett will be a buyer which is about uh, 33 percent a discount from the fair value price that's what we're gonna find before i hit enter guys let me introduce myself for you guys that non don't know me my name is Ziv, also known as finance after 40 i do a uh, not technical fundamental analysis using the warren buffett formula uh, that was written by his mentor benjamin graham uh, written in the book the intelligent investment you can uh, check this uh, excel in the description below I am new for YouTube, but I also have about uh, 20,000 or so followers uh, following me on TikTok under the same name, Finance After 40. Feel free to check other stuff that I have in the description, selling options for income, etc., etc. I don't want to waste your time. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to click enter and we're going to find the fair value of MAMU, uh, Micron Technology. So 
Tam da da dum, da 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 dum. And if you like that, uh, hit the plus and like all that good stuff. Tam da dum, da da dum. Okay, let's see what we got here. Stock fair value 89.83, 90 bucks. We are at 78.90 bucks. Okay, that's uh, like uh, where we were. Uh, the all time high was 87. That's the stock fair value, give or take. And the price that Mr. Warren Buffett will be a buyer is $60. If everything pans out in all the financial uh, statement that we read, which is not the case, but assuming it is, he will be a buyer of Micron stock for $60. And 18 cents this is not where we are now we are now at 78 which is about i don't know 20 to 23 percent uh the downside from here uh, so if the stock goes down another 20 25 percent something like that he will be a buyer uh, if everything pans out he will not but uh you get the the point if i bring you guys any sort of value subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification i leave a comment which stock would you like me to do next only only subscribe if you gain value if not uh, you don't have to subscribe i hope this was very useful and uh, valuable to you and i will see you guys in the next video thank you very very much yeah